other products. So let's go straight into the decodes. Yep, decode today is a theme of three products that make the chemists go, huh? <laughs> yep. First up, this is what I notice in a lot of new launches. Mm -hmm. um, Cozar X is nice and my missile water is not alone. We are starting to see a lot of cleansers with a ton of actives. And we mentioned this in the decode that cleanser claim is where how actives and cleansers just aren't that helpful. A lot of the data, actually all of the data, um, is tested as a leave-on for many weeks. Mm -hmm. So if that gives you an idea of how ineffective having that active in a cleanser format would be just washing it off even twice a day um so yes and you know i think that a lot of people do feel like oh well moisturizing actives in cleansers could be more helpful yes and no because if you think about it you're always going to follow up with your moisturizing products yeah so not really um something gloria and i really care about to be honest but yeah let's talk about this one yeah, so I found this one to be one of the most loaded cleanser that's mm -hmm. newly launched. This is a product by Skin Fix, mm -hmm. and it touts 2% salicylic acid, 2% niacinamide, 1% azelaic acid, 3% glycolic acid. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> cool. It feels like it doesn't know what it wants to be. It feels like it wants to be an SEO <laughs> successful <laughs> product. It wants to hit every Google search term possible. Yeah, so I would say this is a cell acid cleanser. Think about mm -hmm. it as any other cell acid cleanser. Mm -hmm. um, that is probably the only thing this one can claim. 2% niacinamide, like we briefly mentioned, it's an effective level as a leave-on product. 1% azelaic acid is probably one I'm most offended by because it <laughs> sounds like a lot, but azelaic acid tastes at like 15 20%. So what does 1% do in a washout product? Probably Jack Craw. Jack Craw. Jack Craw. Jack Dilly <laughs> Squad. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's really there just to be like, hi, I'm supposed to help oh, acne. Acne acid. <laughs> I, the, I'm just the, um, what is it? The ambassador for this acne cleanser. I love, I love that line, <laughs> ambassador for acne users. <laughs> yeah. 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 So for that reason, we would say if you are looking for, I guess, a general salicylic acid cleanser, no problem. If you're buying this because of the other stuff, eh, don't give it too much weight. Yeah, exactly. Cool. We have another one. We, haven't, we haven't done it in a long time. a long time. A long time. Okay. Old fans will know we used to do products, product decodes, <laughs> and compare them to other expensive products. Yes. And we call the series Price is Right. Mm -hmm. For example, would you rather buy a Dr. Barbara Sturm Hyaluronic Acid or PlayStation 5? I'll tell you, or I currently own a PS5 <laughs> instead of Dr. Barbara Storm skincare. <laughs> or an automatic kitty ro uh, litter robot. Or tickets to a concert, to a T-Swift concert. <laughs> like, <laughs> I think we also had one that was like, I think the product came with a chalice and it was like $1,000. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we used to do that. Yeah. It's been a while. It's been a while. So we decided to get back into it with Augustinus Bader's new launch. Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. So Augustina Spader launches, <clears throat> drum roll, the retinol serum. Whoa, that is so <laughs> novel and so unique. And for 30 mils, you can have this lovely canister with a copper stand for $350. I've always wanted a <laughs> copper stand. How do they know? It really does come with a copper stand because it looks like the bottle is kind of the shape of a test tube. Mm -hmm. So you must sit it in the canister. It does not stand on its own, which is like as a traveling thing. Like, why? I also think like, well, their cap is flat. Why don't you put it upside down? <laughs> Why did you go out of your way to make a stand? Because like, their TFC peptide will be sad. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. T I didn't mean to hurt your feelings, TFC8. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. We poo-poo on it. But it. to be fair, we will say it does come with a consumer perception and a clinical study. Yep. They did do their homework on this one. Mm -hmm. um, they The consumer perception claims are... 97% agree that appearance of deep wrinkles and fine lines is reduced. 100% agree skin looks lifted, tighter, firmer. 98% agrees that skin looks and feels more smooth, cleared, and refined. And 98% agrees that skin tone looks more even. 
that's a percep- uh, the consumer perception side. They also did a 12-week clinical that touted that skin is more hydrated, 50, uh, the appearance of deep lines and wrinkles reduced by 56%, the appearance of pores was reduced by 95%. That's the one that I'm kind of like, I would like to see the methodology <laughs> because yeah. I ain't nothing erasing pores. I just don't, I don't believe yeah, this one. So, so what happened? <laughs> they just magically don't have pores anymore. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely a weird one. And I have to call out, um, they do share some before and afters, and Gloria shared this with me. And I guess we're now evolving into the next stage of before and afters, Mm -hmm. but Augustinus Bader has a before and after. They were, they had basically someone, an actual person, trying to in on their uh, experience. But the before and after are like stylized photos. Mm -hmm. They're not wearing the same... Outfit. outfits the uh, lighting's very different the makeup is different the lighting is different uh the hairstyle is different so all in all when you look at it you're like i guess this serum just changed her life <laughs> yeah she woke up used the serum for just two weeks yeah. and she's like you know what i'm gonna get a new hairstyle and be a yeah, new person she's like, i'm going from corporate to rock star <laughs> <laughs> but kept her earrings yeah yeah so it's a uh, fascinating before and after take yeah i will say the one piece that i was one piece of before and after that i was like kind of impressed by was the redness factor mm-hmm. they had one where someone had really red and clearly irritated skin before photo and after that was calmed down a lot which mm-hmm. is not typically what you were you would expect from a retinal product totally that totally. said 350 you can get like any retinol for like a third of the price exactly exactly i think that's what makes it so hard is like you want to charge them how much for at the end of the day the addition of retinol and mm. even with all the bells and whistles and all the clinicals you're still like Ugh, it's i don't know it's really hard I, I it's hard to convince me let's just say yeah and i will say this is uh they also don't tell you the retinol percentage yeah, so even no, if you're point. like oh you know what like i want a luxe retinol experience yeah. i'm currently using x percent i can move on to this product and eh, i don't know how to tell you like how to gauge whether or not this is the right retinol for you totally all right and then we have one final product. Yes. So this one was one of my favorites because, again, <laughs> like I mentioned, I wanted to research products, new launches that mm-hmm. have nice and my. So I went to a bunch of different websites like Derm Store, Sephora, whatever, mm-hmm. and just filtered and searched for nice and my filter by new. Sierra's vitamin C radiance moisturizer popped up. So I looked at the ingredient list and I was very surprised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so let's just go through it very quickly. Um, so I'll read it's purified water, cyclopentasiloxane, cetero alcohol, glycerin, calcap triglyceride, sodium PCA, dimethicone, yucca glauca root extract, polysorbate 60, SAP, sodium ascorbyl phosphate, THD ascorbate. L-asorbic acid, palmitoyl oil, tripeptide 28, retinol, squalene, sodium hyaluronic, oh, no, hydrolyzed no, no, sodium hyaluronic, no, 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 resveratrol, ceramide, 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 danger, 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 So what made me the double take is I read the claims before I read the ingredient list and Sierra claims that uh, the key ingredients in this formula are mm-hmm. tri- uh, tripeptide complex, which we found and hyaluronic acid and ceramide, which I tried to cut off Victoria over the two. Niacinamide, which we saw, yeah. resveratrol, and vitamin E. Mm-hmm. Wait, hold up. I saw retinol in this ingredient list. Sure did. I did read retinol. That's correct. Why? I, You know, we always tell people that, oh, niacinamide yeah. is one of those ingredients that mm-hmm. even if it's not claimed, it might be hiding somewhere in the ingredient list. So you might want to like give it a uh, give it a skim. Yep. I didn't realize we were in the realm of phantom retinol. <laughs> I and it's also kind of dangerous because yeah. there should be lingo that's telling you um, that sunscreen is required. You know, you want to make sure you're on top of that. Let's be honest, not the majority of us aren't. And on the other thing is, there's just it. Uh, I guess there's so many actives. I actually didn't even finish reading before Gloria cut me off. Mm-hmm. Um. And the fact that it's paired with a lot of things that feels problematic, like L-ascorbic acid yep. with retinol together, yep. there's all these things that go in there and they're like, there's no way all of this works. Yeah, no <laughs> all way. All of this is doing something. Yeah, no, that's exactly it. Is 
what we like certain combos mm -hmm. in the same formula. Like niacinamide and retinol is a good combination. Vitamin C, retinol, these are finicky ingredients that really should be in their own formulas yeah. to shine. Yeah. It's definitely trying to squeeze a little bit too many. And retinol not being called out was just I I actually first saw this product on dermstore.com. Yeah. I actually double check on Om Skin's uh Om Skin's official website just because I was worried that, you know, maybe Dermstore.com made a mistake in the aisle and lo and behold it's also on the official website. So ooh. And the other thing too is some of these do need to be used at significantly higher amounts. Yeah. Yep. Specifically the vitamin C's. I know they it looks like they did do a clinical. So um I'll read some of those results here. 97%, oh, actually, it's um, a consumer perception. So 97% of users said their skin felt instantly hydrated after one use. 97% mm. users showed more hydrated skin at a highly significant level. Okay, and it looks like they had a clinical instrumentation measurement um, using a corneometer after four weeks. Actually, that's a really weird claim because I think it's, it is a measurement. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it doesn't tell you how significant that is. But it is. Just believe it. It just says 97% of users, but it doesn't follow up with an actual, like, improved by what. So that's a funky one. 94% of users saw a more even-looking skin tone after four weeks. 94% of users agreed to improve their skin's radiance and luminosity after eight weeks. So... Majority is a consumer perception. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. And then I just spotted a very important asterisk. Okay. Results seen when used with the full vitamin C radiance collection. Ah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah. ah, which means that it's not about this product. <laughs> yeah, not at all. So gosh dang it. Okay. Yeah. And then I just realized <laughs> because it was so long, I cut Victoria off. We didn't even get to the niacinamide yet. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I was I was starting to hit you with all the ceramides, mm. ceramide, GNPAP, and then after that we get caffeine because oh. you totally want caffeine. Who doesn't? No, you you really don't. <laughs> People think we're serious. No, no. And then after that you hit niacinamide and bisabolo. So. I know what people might look at. They might look at this if you were looking at the aisle to shop and you might be like, well, I'm getting so much for my money. Mm. But this is where Gloria and I almost feel like it's kind of almost a ruse. And I know that sounds bad, but but it, it to me feels like a ruse. Like I'm not actually sure what I'm getting here. Yeah. So I would say this is a moisturizer. Yes. Nothing less, nothing more. Yes. We mentioned her line before. I think her serums is loaded yeah. with all sorts yeah. of vitamin C. Yeah. I actually am not too offended by that product. Yeah. But this one in particular, Phantom Retinol, and it's just a moisturizer. And I, I do want to follow up with their how to use where they kind of forget to tell you to use sunscreen again. So again, if Phantom Retinol becomes a thing, Gloria and I are going to have to continue decoding, but definitely it's something to look out for. Yep. Those are the three products that make us want... <laughs> yeah, and it's a good primer to the meats in the next episode because we want to make sure everyone has a good moisturizing strategy. So yeah, basically, Gloria and I, our jobs are not over. We'll be keeping an eye out for that phantom retinol. <laughs> awesome.